In the history of America, slavery changed more than our bodies. It changed our ambitions by marrying us in a myriad of myths and misconceptions. That blacks were not equal, that blacks could not excel, that blacks were not capable of achievement. Nowhere was that more prevalent than in the fields of technology, math, and science. But we know different because our ancestors knew different. Ancestors like the father of activism, the renowned W.E.B. Du Bois, who stated so eloquently in his treatise entitled The Talented Tenth, that you misjudge us because you do not know us. From the very first, it has been the educated and intelligent of the Negro people that have led and elevated the mass and the sole obstacles that nullified and retarded their efforts were slavery and race prejudice. Accomplished ancestors like Benjamin Banneker, George Washington Carver, Charles Drew, and Percy Julian. Educators Carter G. Woodson, Robert Russell Moton, and Mary McLeod Bethune and countless others whose intelligence and integrity could not be changed. Our history is rich with innovation and invention. However, others often took credit for it. We always had the brains, but we didn't have the access. So our forefathers and foremothers used their chains to bust through the myths of prejudice and create links to their future, to our future. In the 1920s, when the research results of black scientists began appearing in professional journals alongside those of whites, and later when blacks participated in scientific communities, such as the Marine Biological Laboratory in Woods Hole, Massachusetts, and at Los Alamos Laboratories in New Mexico. Back when blacks were barred from holding faculty positions at most white research and teaching institutions, they founded historically black colleges and universities. This is the legacy of the strivers and the survivors, the fittest and the brightest. In 1915, the NAACP inaugurated its Spingarn Medal to recognize an African-American male or female who had performed the foremost service to his or her race. Awarded annually ever since, it was presented that year to zoologist, biologist, physiologist, and research scientist Ernest Everett Just. We've come a long way, baby. Since its founding just 20 years ago, Career Communications Group has heralded the achievements of thousands of people of color and technology. History has shown us that you can't put a stranglehold on dreams, on hopes, on faith or ambition. Our ancestors' chains have become our links to modern day technology and to its future. Today, our black technologists Scientists and mathematicians are links to government, to defense and aerospace, to information technology, to engineering, energy and science, to transportation and communications, to finance and business. It is up to us to perpetuate the linkage, to pay forward, to reach back and mentor up and coming generations. Make no mistake about it. We have a long way to go. Representation of African Americans in scientific careers is around 2%. Each of us must continue to invest the time and effort it takes to widen the pipeline and increase the flow of our own human capital, to open young people's eyes wider and wider to the world of science and technology. So when they ask, where are the folks who look like me? We can unequivocally answer, we are right here.